Hey guys, Ryan with Made to Make It here. This week we are at the MBM show and checking out Columbus, Ohio. I'm here with Brett Bowden. We're hey talking in a little, oh sorry, there you go. Hey man. We're talking about fulfillment. Uh, one of the questions we got is fulfillment. How do you fulfill things? And Brett, you guys do a lot of fulfillment with printed threads, right? Yes, we sure do. We uh, probably fulfill a few hundred packages a day, sometimes up to a thousand. So it's not a huge piece of our business, but it is something a that thousand is- A thousand per day? Right. How do you charge for that? Uh, you know what, it's uh, kind of based on what your labor is, right? But uh, just kind of a round number for the actual picking and putting something in a bag. We're gonna charge maybe around two dollars, something $2? like that. Um, but of course we have packaging costs and tape costs and uh, label costs. You wouldn't b believe how much the labels cost for a thermal printer, seems like a high amount. So we have to consider all those things when we are calculating our postage and delivery fees. Does it kind of help you get business though, do Apple offering that service? Yeah, so if you are wanting to work with companies that could be growing companies, you have to learn to grow with those companies. Awesome. And uh, especially if you want to work with clothing lines, a big piece of their business is going to be trying to sell their t-shirts to customers. And they need a way to get those shirts from a warehouse into the hands of their customers. So. Um, it makes a lot of sense for you to be the 3PL if the t-shirts are already sitting in your facility. Awesome, man. We're going to go check out a couple more shops. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Oh, just to say? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to ask me questions. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> no, so, so, so do you want me to start talking how I got into it or are you going to ask me about how I got into it? Um, no, just like... Um, yeah, go for it, Mike. Hi, uh, my name is Marcus Scott. I'm with Eco Print Lab here in Columbus, Ohio, and we're talking about fulfillment today. Uh, about eight years ago, we had a client that approached us about, um, you know, providing a turnkey solution for their e-commerce store. So, uh, you know, apart from manufacturing, we, we were put in a situation where we needed to uh, provide fulfillment services. How did you figure out how to charge for it? You know, I looked at you know a few different models, and most companies, you know, what they do is charge you a storage fee. You know, so the amount of uh, space that you're, uh, you know, taking up on a shelf, as well as per piece price. You know, when the order is being fulfilled. So what I found that you know was more convenient for our customers is just to charge a flat rate per order. So we charge dollar fifty per order. It doesn't matter if it's one item or you know twenty items. Um, and uh, and of, of course, you know the, the shipping cost is on top of that. And was that you think that's pretty profitable? Absolutely, because you know, I, I think you know, especially when you're dealing with e-commerce stores that may have accessories, you know, on top of apparel. Uh, you know, somebody may buy you know 20 stickers or 30 stickers, and you know, like why would you charge somebody you know four or five dollars, you know, for 30 stickers because you're charging them a per piece price? So uh, I, I I think. Uh, you know, it doesn't really take that much more work on, you know, like on our staff side, you know, to fulfill that order. However, it just, you know, it keeps the, you know, the, the customer happy. And that, this, uh, starting with that customer led to a pretty, pretty interesting development, right? You actually... Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, o o over the time, we actually ended up acquiring the customer. And, you know, so we're doing our own fulfillment for, you know, for our e-commerce. Um, you know, over the time, we've done it for other people as well. I think you know at this point we're kind of like in a in a situation where uh, our the size of our facility is limiting us you know in, in, in growing that further, but we're looking at a new, much much larger space. So um, yeah, absolutely. All right, do you want to show us your tool, like um, like package lift? How, explain like what you use for that and like kind of break that down. Sure, you know, so, so one of the things you know that 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 we were doing is you know when we were uh, you know coming up with this whole thing. Uh, was you know coming up with a system that's going to be uh, the most efficient and is going to be the most error free. Uh, and one of the things that we came across was a company called TrueShip, um, and they have a uh, cloud platform you know that allows you to have multiple accounts, multiple ship from addresses uh, in it. And they came up with a single sheet, eight and a half by eleven form that actually. Uh, 
prints that you know the picking list so that you know what you're supposed to you know like you know uh, uh, pick for the order and it includes the shipping label on top that way they're not getting separated things are not getting lost and you know the the, the person that's picking in, in, in the warehouse can go you know to the area pick the item and then just you know keep them together and then just you know package it and, and apply the label Finally, we ended up back here at the MBM show, hung out with the Z-Shirts, Jenny Livesley and the crew, as well as talked to Eric and Nikki at Relentless. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Tell us about your shop and how you use fulfillment to differentiate yourself. I'm Nikki and this is Eric. We're from Relentless Customs. We have a shop in St. Louis. We just moved there from New York in February. Um, so we use fulfillment at our shop to differentiate ourselves because not many shops offer it. We do anything from just taking a hat, putting it in a bag, and shipping it for you, to making you a custom hat, shipping it to your client. Eric, you were saying like how you like, because everyone charges money for t-shirts, right? So what was your theory about adding that service? Yeah, so when we print t-shirts, it's a product. So we, how much we make depends on how many shirts we print a day in theory. So I want to figure out a way that we can make more money and it's not limited by anything because it's a service. The service is 100% labor, so you can charge what you want and you can make what you want depending on what you do for the client. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. Yeah, what's next? Next is another auto. Yeah. <laughs> the same color as the one behind you, right? It has to be green. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're killing it. What? Say that again? Keep the t-shirts flowing. Right on, man. <laughs> so Jared from Pirate Ninja in Rockford Art Deli is taking me back to Chicago O'Hare. Thank you very much, man. No problem. Drive safe. See you guys next week. Stay tuned for more awesome screen printing videos.